Hi everybody, it's Candace from Beacon Hill Books. Um, I woke up today so excited to see what's happening because the Walter Scott long list was released and this makes me very happy. And I've been kind of getting in the mood for the awards, um, watching Peg's videos for the uh, Bailey's list, but this is really more what I look forward to. And um, I'm, I'll have to link Peg's video and also um, the information from the website here, but here's some of the nominations. And I have read two of these so far. Um, Manhattan Beach and the Bedlam Stacks and we were chatting about this with some of um, some other booktubers on Voxer and, and um, isn't it exciting that there are so many um, books that I haven't really heard too much about on here um, and even some aren't even released yet in the US. I'll just go through them quickly and, and explain my first take on them um, given that March is March Mystery Madness and Middle Grade March and also when I'm due to have a baby. I don't think that I am going to get to a lot of these right away, but I think I'm intrigued enough to try and read some and uh, I am very, very intrigued by some and then I'm not going to read some of them. That's just how it goes. I still haven't read some from last year that I couldn't wait to get my hands on. So like I said, I did read Manhattan Beach by Jennifer Egan and I will link, try and find my old videos that I spoke about this book. Um, I have not read Egan's A Visit from the Goon Squad, which is like her most famous book, but this was a historical fiction based in during the war in New York City and our main character um, is the first female divers in the Navy Yard. Um, there's also a lot of family drama that occurs and mystery that happens. Um, so it was a really good book, but I felt like I wanted, I don't know, it kind of dragged for me a little bit in certain parts. And um, I actually prefer and liked the other book that I read on this list better, which is The Bedlam Stacks by Natasha Pulley. Um, I loved Natasha's, I loved Pulley's other book, um, The Watchmaker on Filigree Street. So when I saw this available to read on NetGalley, I wanted to read it. And although the historical backdrop is present, it's not at the forefront of the story as much, I think, as Manhattan Beach. Um, but I still really, really enjoyed it. It does have some, a whimsy, a whimsy piece of it, but the story was great and I loved the characters. Um, so I'm really excited that she got a nod in this case. Um, so but besides those two, um, some of the other ones that I think that I'll check out for sure is um, Sugar Money by Jane Harris. Um, this is available for the US on NetGalley right now. And um, it's coming out on April 3rd in the US. And this is about Caribbean history, I believe. I don't even know much about it. It looks like something that is during a time period in a place that I don't know very much about, so hence why I love historical fiction. I will definitely want to check that out. My library also has Grace by Paul Lynch, so I'm going to try and check that out. And the other ones that I had seen that I really wanted to read was The Gallows Pole by Benjamin Myers, because I saw uh, Victoria from Eve's Alexandria talk about it and absolutely rave and love it. Um, and The Birdcage Walk sounds interesting to me, and then Mel recommended The Wardrobe Mistress by Patrick McGrath and Miss Boston and Miss Hargreaves by Rachel Malik. So that's my initial thoughts. Just so excited. Um, and as I was 
explaining before, last year I joined BookTube in March, and so it was just as a lot of these awards were occurring, and awards that I didn't even know about as a reader and a history lover. I'm ashamed to admit it, but this year I have been looking forward to it, and I really think how much I've been looking forward to it. Um, since I won't be in the middle of the move and having a baby and things, next year I'd love to read the long list and uh, get set up for March. So those are my initial thoughts. Please let me know if you've read any of these books and what your thoughts are of them. And if you think that there's any from this list that I really shouldn't miss. And I'll talk to you all soon. Have a good one. Bye.